Hello guys, and welcome to the Cynthia Usage Guide, where you will discover all the ins and outs of creating music with your device. Before we dive in, take a look at the back side of your Cynthia. Here you will find everything you need to know about using Cynthia, so after you have completed this guide, you can simply glance at the back for a quick refresher if you ever need it. To kick things off, connect Cynthia to a power source using a USB-C cable. Once powered on, the display will illuminate and you'll be greeted by a drum beat. Let's start making some music. Cynthia has an LED matrix that indicates your current mode. When you first power up, you'll enter the track mode where you can program your own patterns. To navigate within the LED matrix, turn the right encoder. In track mode, each of the first five rows corresponds to a specific sample tied to a particular button. Let's start from the beginning. Press the leftmost button and the first LED in the first row will light up, accompanied by the associated pre-recorded sample. Now move to the right and press the second button to add that sample to the grid. Repeat this process for the entire grid. If you mistakenly place a sample in the wrong slot, navigate to that slot and double-click the samples button to remove it. Once you've completed the grid, it's time to hear your drum beat. Hold down the left encoder to play it. Congratulations! You've just programmed your first drum beat. If you want to change the tempo, use the left slider to speed it up or to slow it down like this. For volume control, the right slider lets you fine-tune the output level. While your beat is playing, utilize the right encoder to navigate within the matrix. If you hold down a specific sample button for a second, it will be muted. To unmute, repeat the process. To stop the beat, hold down the left encoder just as you did to play it. If you're lucky, you just might become a star using only this simple beat. But if you're feeling adventurous, you can spice it up with more samples. Add another sample like this and see what it sounds like. Wow, you're getting really good at this. Once you're satisfied with your drum beat, turn the left encoder to access the save menu. Use the left encoder to select one of the two available slots to save your pattern. Let's choose slot number 2 by clicking the left encoder. You'll be prompted to save or load from that slot. Choose the arrow facing downwards with the left encoder to save your pattern. Confirm the selection and Cynthia will briefly indicate that your current pattern is being saved to that slot. Welcome back to your incredible drum beat. But what if you want to change the samples for individual buttons? Don't worry, we've got plenty of options. Hold down the button for the sample you want to change and you'll enter sample mode, indicated by a yellow LED. Use the left encoder to select the sample you desire, with six options available. Five pre-recorded samples and one for recording your own. Hover over the recording button and the LED will change from yellow to red signaling that you've just entered the recording mode. To start recording, press and hold the button. Keep in mind that you have a maximum time of one second for your recording. Give it a try. If you've successfully recorded a sample, the LED below the button will now light up yellow while in the recording mode rather than red like before. Press the button to listen to your recording. To exit sample mode and to use that sample in track mode, hold down the same button. Now that you have one recording saved, enter sample mode for another button. Hover over the recording option and the LED below the first button will light up blue, indicating an existing recorded sample in that slot. Press that other button and the recorded sample will be copied over to this one. Amazing! 
but let's add some effects to make them sound different. Rotate the right encoder while in sample mode to access six different effect options. First, adjust the volume using the right encoder and the right slider. Turn the right encoder to activate the bit crusher effect, which reduces the resolution or bandwidth of digital audio data, making it sound like a robot. Next is circles, a delay effect that adds an echo. Then we have the low pass filter, which removes high frequencies from your sample, and the high pass filter, which removes low frequencies. Lastly, the left slider changes the pitch of your sample. You can hear this effect better when using your voice. Keep in mind that you can also connect headphones or a speaker to your device. Now that you're familiar with Cynthia, you're ready to embark on your musical journey.